In this program, we'll look at the steep spiral, which is another maneuver that emphasizes planning, coordination, orientation, and aircraft control. Although the steep spiral is primarily a training exercise, it can be useful in some emergency situations. A steep spiral is basically a gliding descent using no more than 50 to 55 degrees of bank where you maintain a uniform radius around a reference point. The maneuver can be performed either to the left or right. Typically, you'll enter the procedure, complete three 360-degree turns, then roll out on your entry heading. Let's look at how you perform the steep spiral. Your initial planning includes establishing the airplane at a height that will enable you to perform the procedure and recover at a safe altitude. After you've determined the location where you wish to perform the maneuver, clear the area by carefully looking for traffic below as well as in your general vicinity. To maintain orientation, you need to select a good ground reference point. The intersections of roads or fields are easily seen from the air. You should also select a prominent landmark near your entry heading. To aid you in rolling out of the maneuver, it's also a good idea to check your heading. Before starting the maneuver, stabilize the airplane at the recommended entry speed. This is the airspeed you should maintain throughout the procedure. Although any entry heading will do, you should try to enter the maneuver downwind. By doing this, you will use the steepest bank angle at the beginning of the maneuver. This then assures you that you'll be able to make the necessary adjustments in order to maintain a uniform radius. When you're ready to begin, apply carburetor heat, if required, and smoothly close the throttle. As you roll into the turn, you will probably have to lower the nose of the airplane to maintain airspeed. Use a reference spot on the windshield to maintain the correct attitude and periodically cross-check your airspeed. Remember, if the turn is to the right, you'll need to use a different reference point. When you first begin practicing steep spirals, you might find that using shallower bank angles and a larger radius of turn will help you become more comfortable with bank and airspeed control. Since one of the objectives of the maneuver is to maintain a constant radius about the selected reference point, you must adjust the bank to correct for any wind drift and changes in the ground speed. As you discovered while performing S-turns and turns about a point, ground speed and bank angle are directly related. The faster your ground speed, the steeper the bank needed to maintain a constant radius. Therefore, airspeed control is a critical factor in performing the maneuver. The faster your airspeed, the greater the ground speed and radius of turn. Since you're at idle power during this maneuver, you'll have to maintain airspeed by adjusting the pitch attitude. Periodically add power to clear the engine as you continue through the maneuver. This helps prevent excessive engine cooling and spark plug fouling caused by prolonged operation at idle power. To minimize ground speed variations, it's helpful to do this while heading into the wind. When you perform any maneuver in which high bank angles are used, it's important to maintain an awareness of the load factors imposed on the airplane. Any improper use of the controls can abruptly increase the load factor, which can lead to an accelerated stall or structural damage. In addition, pulling back on the control wheel to reduce excessive airspeed may actually tighten the spiral. The proper procedure to correct for excessive airspeed is to decrease bank angle, then apply back pressure. To recover from a steep spiral, use your heading indicator and the standard one half of the bank angle, along with your chosen landmark to determine when to begin a smooth rollout. As you level the wings, smoothly adjust pitch to maintain your airspeed and continue a glide on the recovery heading. During practice, be careful not to descend below a safe altitude. 
One practical application of the steep spiral is during an emergency landing. If you lose power and have sufficient altitude, you can glide directly to your point of intended landing and then lose altitude by performing a steep spiral until you roll out on the downwind leg. As you're descending, you can inspect the site for obstructions or hazards. You can also determine the approximate wind direction and velocity. Adjust the spiral to roll out on a downwind heading as though you were going to make a normal approach at an airport. During an actual forced landing, you would continue to maintain your desired airspeed and plan on arriving at the key position with enough altitude so that you can land into the wind. The steep spiral is an excellent training maneuver because it helps you develop the ability to accurately control the airplane. In addition, it gives you a way to safely descend to the landing site should an actual emergency occur.